Hey there, it's John from Excel Campus, and today I have a data analysis challenge for you. So this is a great question submitted by Rob, who's a member of our Elevate Excel training program, and he posted this question in the program's community form. And essentially, he has some CRM data, or sales pipeline data here, and he wants to create a summary report of deal count by stage. So this is the end result we're looking for over here. As you can see, we have five deals in the win stage, one in the loss stage, and so on. Now the challenge here is that there are multiple rows per deal. We can see that in the source data over here. If we look in the deal ID column, these all have the same deal ID and all have the same sales stage, but different product names. So that's why there's different rows here for each deal. But this would just be counted as one win in our report. Uh, same here, this would be one loss, this would be one, an additional win, uh, one prospect, and so on. So we need to create a solution that automatically calculates these results. Obviously, I gave you the answer right here. This is the answer we're looking for, but these are hard-coded values, and we wanna find a way to calculate these results. And there are no limitations on the features or tools of Excel that you can use. So if you're on a modern version of Excel, you can use some of the new tools and features we have there as well. Just come up with a way to calculate these results. Now, I have two additional bonus challenges for you as well. The first is will your solution still work if there's new data added to the bottom of our source data here? So once we get new data down here at the bottom, will your solution automatically incorporate that new data? Or will there not be too much work to add those new rows to your results? And I've also added a tab over here with new data so you can see if it works. You can copy and paste this uh, below the existing data to just see if your result or your solution will work. And then the second bonus challenge is that what if the sales stage names change or we get new stage names. So we currently only have three uh, stages, win, loss, and prospect, but what if we get a fourth? It's proposal or presentation or something like that, and the system changes and we get a new stage name. Will your solution also automatically incorporate those changes as well? because obviously our data is always changing, systems are always changing, so we want to accommodate and plan for those future updates and changes. So that's the uh, basics of the challenge there. I do have an instruction sheet here that explains all the instructions in more detail. You'll just output your results to a new sheet called results, or you can put them on this uh, blank results sheet right here. And then uh, you can download this file. I'll put a link in the description below this video where you can download this file, obviously work on your solution. And then to share your solution, you can leave a comment below this video and just give us a brief description of the tools and features that you use to solve this. And if you'd like to share your file, you can do that as well. You can upload it to any cloud sharing service like OneDrive, Google Drive, or Dropbox, and just put the share link in your comment. And I'd just like to say that there are a ton of different ways to solve this problem in Excel. So don't worry about having the absolute right or perfect solution. There are a lot of different ways to solve this. And I look forward to learning from you and we can all learn from each other here on different ways to solve the same problem in Excel. And then I'll be back in a few weeks uh, with videos on the most popular solutions, explaining those solutions, and also sharing the pros and cons with each of those. So again, I look forward to seeing your results. Don't look in the comments below before you start solving this one. Just give it your best shot and then I'll see you back in a few weeks with some solution videos. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.